What's up guys, it's Friday and so you know what time it is. It's time for What The Fitness. But first, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment for the algorithm. All right, we have Miss Carrie June on here today. I don't know who this is. And I got sent this by a bunch of people. So we'll see what this is. I think this is an ad for whatever creatine shtick she's selling. Making creatine. If your goal is to build muscle, you're not doing it right. We all know creatine is the best for building muscle. The problem- Wait, didn't, didn't, didn't she just say if you're using regular creatine to build muscle, you're not doing it right? And then she said, we all know creatine helps build Anyway. It has really nasty side effects like bloating, cramping, nausea, feeling puffy like a blowfish, a lot of- No, it actually doesn't. Creatine pulls water into the muscle cell. It is an osmolite. And in scientific research studies, it has been shown that the amount of extracellular water outside the cell does not increase with creatine. It is not gonna give you edema. It's not gonna make you feel bloated and puffy. Now creatine, can be a gut irritant. And so that can make you feel bloated, especially if you load. So if you're somebody who has GI irritation from taking creatine, you could just separate it into two or three smaller doses rather than taking one five gram dose throughout the day. If you're somebody who has an easily irritated GI, I don't recommend loading. But this whole like, it's gonna make you puffy like a blowfish, no. It, it pulls water inside the muscle cell, where you want it, where it's good, where it does good stuff, not outside where you look puffy. It's not supported by science. It's been debunked over and over and over again over the last two decades. Why are you saying sh from 20 years ago? People put up with these side effects for the results. I made that mistake too. It's also really weird because this is voiced over, but she's lip syncing it, it appears, as she's lifting weights in the gym. It, it doesn't come across as cool. It comes across as actually kind of creepy to me. Too, but I knew we could do better. Together with my formulation team at Mini Beast, we created MB Creatine Plus and changed the game. We basically- Your formulation team. Ah, uh, survey says she doesn't have a formulation team. And I'll bet whatever her special ingredient is has been around a long time. Because people have been trying to reinvent the wheel with creatine for a long time. And I'll tell you why. Creatine monohydrate is ubiquitous. Every company sells it and therefore it drives down the price because of the competition. It's like flat screen TVs. I remember the first time I bought my first flat screen TV in 2009, it was 40 inches and it was like $1,000. Now you can get a 40 inch flat screen TV for, I don't know, some old toenail clippings. The price drops so much. So companies literally make a few pennies when they sell creatine monohydrate. But if they sell you new and improved creatine, they can make a lot more money, which is why they don't promote creatine monohydrate because they want your money. Basically took creatine, buffered it to pH 12. Oh. <laughs> so her formulation team discovered buffered creatine, which by the way, has also been around for over 15 years. Also has been tested in studies to be no better than plain old regular creatine monohydrate because creatine is stable in stomach acid. It does not get de degraded, it gets into your system and creatine monohydrate has been shown to saturate creatine phosphate levels in the muscle cells 100%. You cannot do better than 100%. Sorry lady, I don't care how many people you have on your formulation team or don't have on our formulation team. You're not getting better than regular creatine monohydrate. I'm sorry. I know it's cheap and you can't make a bunch of money off it. But stop making shit up. A stable creatine monohydrate molecule and patent it. So what does this mean? Unlike normal creatine, ours is stable throughout the GI tract, allowing the entire- Regular creatine is stable throughout the GI tract. Entire dose to enter into your muscles, fully potent, giving you the best possible results without any of the nasty side effects. MB Creatine Plus corrects all of these flaws and is the best on the market. Don't believe it? Try it for yourself. I don't believe it because we have Human randomized control trials that show that buffered creatine is not better than regular creatine monohydrate. And oh, by the way, if your claim is that it's gonna reduce the water retention from creatine, guess what? You're basically saying that your creatine is not anabolic. Since the osmolytic property of creatine and pulling fluid into the muscle cell is one of the most anabolic properties of creatine. 
Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. And may God have mercy on you for bringing up 15-year-old science and acting like it's actually new and your formulation team came up with it. Here's what most likely happened. I don't know this for sure, but my guess is it went a little something like this. This girl probably has a following. Let's check. 4.4 million followers. How could I make money off having a large following? Which, hey, by the way, I have a pretty large following and I sell things too, so no hate there. But, you know, creatine monohydrate, really hard to make money off of. But, we could sell them a fancier version of creatine for more money and tell them that it's better. So it went one of two ways. Either she went to a company and was like, hey, I wanna partner with you, let's produce a fancy version of creatine so we can make money. And they said, you have 4.4 million followers. Sounds great. Or we have products, you have a following, you help sell said products and we will give you percentages of the revenue. Win freaking win, baby. And hey, again, there's nothing wrong with that. I have partnered with different companies, but I don't partner with people who make shit up and they are making this shit up. If you don't believe me, you can click the citations in the description. Now, I sell through my company Outward Nutrition, creatine monohydrate. So I'm sure that they will probably come back and say, well, of course Lane says this. He sells an old, outdated version of creatine. No, no, no. I sell the version that has been shown in tens of thousands of human randomized control trials to be the most effective supplement in the history of supplements. It also has the most safety data and it just so happens to be the cheapest. And we at Outwork Nutrition are not interested in overcharging you and making a bunch of empty promises. So we use the least expensive, most potent version of creatine, which is creatine monohydrate. And if you don't believe me, feel free to click the citations below. I'm out.